reconstruction was planned. As you know, the uh, Kovic port was famous as an international trade port, but if Kovic port couldn't handle a container uh, cargoes for a long period of time, we were worried that uh, we would lose the market, and therefore um, the uh, urgent container uh, wolf's reconstruction plan was proposed by um, Restoration Committee of Hanshin Awaj earthquake and the uh, container uh, wolf's restoration was adopted as a priority and in the usual engineering work uh, it takes two years to restore uh, this kind of wolf. However, in order to shorten the uh, engineering schedule, uh, we decided to uh, conduct the restoration work in line with um, uh, in parallel with some uh, restoration work taking place at other, uh, at other places. And we decided to make uh, foreign container uh, ships berths, two berths in the uh, uh, Rocco Island uh, south side, and we also decided to make two berths, and one of them is the uh, Kobe uh, Airport Urgent Container uh, uh, Wharf, and this container wharf basically requires two years to be completed with the regular engineering work, but we had to finished it in six months, on, and therefore, in the process of planning, uh, we implemented uh, creative measures. Uh, we have adopted a new approach called prefabricated uh, PR system, and majority of the concrete work was uh, precasted, and therefore, we could shorten the timeline substantially. The structure of this container wolf uh, utilize the damaged existing case and key wall. You see, this is the uh, damaged case, and, and behind that part it was all subsided or submerged under the water. But uh, we dropped some stones here in order to stabilize the case, and, and after that we drove, the, drove some pilings and uh, we fortify the structure of the wolf. And we also implemented various measures in order to reduce the process numbers. And uh, in Kobe port, it was difficult to do all the engineering work, and therefore some part of the process was done uh, in the Narohama. And we also uh, did the precast structures. We made precast uh, structures in uh, Shikoku, and all the finished components and the structures were transported or transferred via ship. So uh, we started the construction in May of 1995, and we completed the process uh, in the end of October. Uh, everybody worked um, 24 hours, and we could finish the whole process within six months. And this was enabled by adopting the precast approach uh, of the uh, structures. And this is the big ship and this is the completed part on the part of the front and on the back there is more engineering work going on to prevent the liquefaction and container frame is already installed here. So this is the overview of the port facilities restoration policy and the characteristics. Um, before the uh, earthquake, a majority of the uh, uh, key wall uh, structure was the case and uh, key wall system, utilizing the gravity structure system. Um, in 
And after the earthquake, we decided to adopt um, diverse structures in order to enhance the uh, anti-quake uh, properties. And uh, after the plan uh, was set, we could focus on um, the uh, quick engineering work in order to shorten the timeline. And uh, because the land line, uh, land transportation line was disrupted, we uh, transported the uh, materials and equipment by ship. And in Kobe district, it was difficult to procure materials and equipment and manpower. And therefore, uh, we did some uh, concrete structure uh, manufacturing process in a remote area. Uh, one of them is Naruohama of Nishinomiya City. In order to restore the uh, land transportation line, uh, Kobe had to remove the uh, debris as soon as possible, and therefore Kobe port was used to um, store the uh, removed debris. And Naruhama also used